President Lin Shun Min, Honorary Chairman Chen Shi Xiong, Ms. Jennifer Chan of IFOM, Dean Chen Yi Song, distinguished guests from all over the world, good morning. To begin with, I would like to express my gratitude to the organizers of the 7th International Symposium on Sustainable Development and Green Technology for making me a part of this very relevant event. Beyond doubt, humanity is in the midst of climate change. However, such can still be mitigated if we put all our acts together. Hence, this gathering, which seeks to address the urgency of building sustainable management and promoting green technology is of utmost import. We in the province of Negros Occidental, conscious of the urgency of the state of our environment, recognize that our task is now beyond the recovery and the conservation of our ecosystem. Our task has now escalated to reversing the trend of destruction that has been prevalent for years. It is regrettable that in many ways we are the ones responsible for the destruction of our own habitat. Thus, the need to re-emphasize that while we are free to use and enjoy our natural resources, we have a corresponding responsibility and duty to use them conscientiously and judiciously to refrain from abuse and to participate actively in its preservation and protection. In Negros Occidental, we crafted a scholarship program called Diploma in Environment and Green Technology and we partnered with Philippine Normal University in Cadiz City. If we are to be truly effective in our efforts to save the environment, we must enhance the skills and capacities of our environment officers from our 31 towns and cities with the proper knowledge on green technology. The province has been a recipient of various national awards for environmental protection and conservation. Recently, we won the Galingpok Award for our rehabilitation and food security measures. Also, we have implemented the program on organic farming even before the enactment of our Republic Act promoting organic farming in the country. Due to this, the province earned several national awards over the years. The top performing organic agriculture province. Our farmers also won the Outstanding Focal Person, Outstanding Organic Farmer, and the national finalists in the organic farming family category. In advancing organic farming, we reiterated the role of the government and stakeholders in providing adequate support and opportunities to our farmers. Thus, it is among our trust to enhance the market potential of our organic products. Agriculture should not be limited to production. It has to be enhanced by entrepreneurship. Organic farming has to be a viable source of income if we seek the lasting success of organic farming. Today's event shows that we are not only aware of the gravity of climate change and its impact on our lives, our existence, and our planet, but we are also willing and prepared to do our active part to change the course of the present environmental destruction. And of course, I'm taking this opportunity to thank Nanwa University for your generous support to the Negrense Scholars. Thank you for opening new doors of possibilities and opportunities to them. The province of Negros Occidental is truly grateful. Thank you for having me today in this endeavor towards a better, cleaner, and sustainable future. May the good Lord continue to guide and empower us to do what is necessary to protect our environment and our people. Again, thank you and good day.